So this is a gill net that we fish in the fall for, for chum salmon. Pete Knutson owns Loki Fish Company, a business his entire family has helped build. And it's families like his that he's concerned about today. A bill making its way through Olympia would ban non-tribal gill net fishing for salmon on the Columbia River. You can sell it to people who know nothing about the resource and it sounds like a good idea. If you're concerned about the resource, you want to keep those portions of the population that are living from that resource in business because they're the best stewards of the resource. Originally, the bill included the entire state, but has since narrowed to the Columbia River only. Supporters say it's needed to protect wild salmon runs and allow for more fishing of hatchery salmon. You have to minimize the number of wild salmon you catch, and when we get down to that low number, everybody has to quit fishing. Andy Marks is a recreational fisherman and vice president of the Coastal Conservation Association in Washington. we got to find ways to selectively remove the hatchery fish while protecting the ESA listed protected wild salmon. He admits that even hook and line fishing has an impact on wild salmon but says they can be released back to the water alive. Pretty much every fish that gets caught in a gill net comes out dead. A hook is not any more selective than a gill net. A hook is indiscriminate. What needs to be happening now is we need to be restoring the habitat, producing more fish, and really addressing the roots of the orca crisis. Instead, what we have is a fish grab. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.